happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a great week. For those of you who don't know, I am Teresa Eads, the Children and Youth Ministry Director at Kirksville First United Methodist. I'm so glad you joined me. And as we are entering this um, second week of Lent, I'm going to chat with you a little bit about the um, themes that we are following and for those of you that were at Church Sunday, you heard um, Pastor Lori and Reverend Jennifer talk about this. Again and again, we are called to listen. Like disciples, we are often stuck in the pattern of messing up over and over again. We cling to power. We climb the ladder. We memorialize Christ's teaching rather than embodying them. However, we can't be trapped by shame, guilt, ignorance, or inaction. Humility is required for transformation. Again and again, we are called to listen. To listen to God and to others. And I don't know if any of you um, could relate on Sunday when um, Jennifer and Lori were talking about listening to God. And yet, we sometimes feel like we're trying so hard to listen, but we're wondering, God, are you, are you really even there? Like, I'm, I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to do my part, but i um, not sure that I'm hearing you. I'm not sure you're even there. And as they uh, relayed that message to us and, and kind of gave us some funny stories, God is. God is always there. It's just really hard for us to have the patience. It's really hard for us to have the understanding. And it's really hard for us to realize that sometimes it's just that we aren't hearing. Sometimes it's just that we may not be giving that peace and calm and quiet enough to hear that small, still voice. And sometimes that can be so challenging in our busy, crazy world. So then today, our daily devotion we actually got two today, but the second one says, patient healer, heal my heart when it is ailing. And then it asks, where do you need to be made well? What invisible things or visible things in your life need healing? And it got me thinking, I, I don't know about any of you, if you have invisible things in your life that need healing, but I feel like lately, those are my biggest demons. Those are my biggest battles is I'm learning about issues going on at the middle school with some of the, the youth. And it just weighs on my heart. How do I help them? How do I guide them? How do I teach them so they're making better choices with friends? Or how do I teach them to be kinder to others? Because we have some not making great choices there. Or I hear people talking politically and, and that's, there's so much in our world going on with that right now. And it just breaks my heart to know that we can hear people being unkind to others or getting so caught up in the money of it all, of the, the title or the, the label that they aren't focusing on the well-being of humankind. And then I see friends of mine supporting people that are so unkind or so unethical or so just what I would consider wrong. Not that it's my place to judge, but when they're not nice and they're not honest, I don't understand, but they have reason. It weighs on my heart because I want to understand and I want them to understand where I'm coming from. And yet then I also need to step back and go, you know what, God, this isn't my spot. This isn't my place to tell them. This is yours. So when I read that, that asks, where do you need to be made well? What things in your life need healing? I find myself saying, okay, God. So I'm hurting over political things that are going on in our country. I'm hurting over how people are being hurt by others. I'm hurting over not knowing how to help our youth make better choices because I know their parents have taught them. They're just being misled. And rather than me trying to figure it out, rather than me trying to think it all through, that's where God wants me to say, 
I'll give it to you. And then let's see. Anoint. That can be the hardest part. Just listening, being patient, being quiet long enough. But that's where God wants us to come and say, here, this is for you. It's weighing, but it's not mine to solve. I ask your guidance. I give it to you. So I hope as you are going through this week, this week of seasonal changes within a matter of hours, this week of beautiful sunshine to very, very cold Whatever your week may bring, I pray that if there is somewhere that you need healed, if there is somewhere you are trying to listen to God in your life, that you will have the time to set aside and just be quiet and be still and that you will hear the loving words guiding you and healing your heart. Have a beautiful week and I will see you back next Tuesday.